Hello, this is 8-Bit Rage and welcome to another Amstrad game review. I had to go to the doctor today actually, with a pain in my bum and I said, oh I think it's because I'm sat playing computer games. So doctor had a look at my bum hole, he said, Rachel I think you've got a case of the cybernoids. So yeah, that's what I'm playing today, Cybernoid. So I first saw this game um, on 20th Century Gaming's live stream on YouTube. And he was playing the Spectrum version first. And that was a really good looking game. It was dead bright and colourful. Oh, the colours, like proper, jumped out at you. And um, I know it's, I've got to sound like I'm on Magic Mushrooms here, but it was, it was really impressive. Then he played the Amstrad version after. And again, I was pleasantly surprised because Amstrad, you know, it suffered a lot from Spectrum parts, but this is an Amstrad game in its own right. So, now, Mark was very good at this game, he, oh, shit, he's a dead good gamer, he made this look quite easy, and don't get me wrong, it's fucking hard, it's hard, and there's not, like, one pattern to the enemies, you know, we think, okay, right, I know, if I just wait here for two seconds, I'll be alright. It's not like that, it really isn't. It's different every time. And once you leave a screen, you can't go back. So that's another thing. So this time we've got a shield and a power-up that lets you fire in front and behind, which is useful. But if I lose a life, now, which I was going to say, which is very likely, I'll have lost both of them. Of course I've done it first time now because I've lost all them fuckers. This is the bugger because you're gonna You've gotta exit at the left. But the fucking enemies come in on the left, so it's like, well what the hell am I supposed to do? And the bonuses are a bit sketchy because sometimes you get something useful, sometimes you don't. You have to collect. Ooh shit. And um Oh shit in hell. On the first level you have to collect like sixteen hundred I think in bonuses, you know credits they called it. Ah To pass the level. So you have to, you want to try and get these bonuses if you can. Let's just whiz through. There we go. So assuming I got through now, I think I'd be all right in terms of credits. Oh, right, okay. Oh shit! I'm sure I took my finger off the button quicker than that. But there we go. <sighs> got a high score. Where are we? Halfway through, five out of nine. So just looking at the game, um, it is a nice looking game. The presentation's really good. Like I said, you know, the Spectrum one's completely different, so we didn't get a Spectrum part. But you can tell from looking at it, it's not a Spectrum part, but lovely and bright, made use of all the colour. And they've used that to the advantage, you know, you can see sort of the shadowing on the things in the screen and, oh here we go. <coughs> Some great in-game music going on. Oh shit, I knew it, I knew it bollocks that. There we go. Right, so... I 
don't remember this game back in the day at all. I don't remember even hearing of it, do you know what I mean? Um, like I said, it was 1988, so I'd have been like, sort of, oh, you fucker. I'd have kind of been at the high point of buying my games at that, at that point, so it kind of passed me by. Oh, God. Come on, Rach. Right, start game. I'll have one more game. Like I said, Mark made it look really easy, honestly. And I thought, this looks like a good game. Then I played it. I thought, fucking hell, it's solid. Takes a lot of concentration. It's just. Oh, I thought the shield would have bloody got in then by me. Right, come on, we've got two lives. No! It's just. Oh, fucking hell. Just trying to get out of the bloody room at this point. Thing is, you respawn there, but the, spi the spiders, what am I on about? The enemies don't respawn. Shit in Christ. At the start of the screen, they respawn just where they are. Um, I'll have one more go. Because I, I do enjoy it. It is frustrating. It proper drives me fucking mad. Right, okay. I'll give you a little bit of a head start if you get that shield at the start. Come on, let's get out of here. There we go. I seem to get to here alright. It's the flipping next screen. Right, let's get this. You do get plenty of power-ups, but it's when you're able to... Oh, shit, what the hell got me there? Right, so this here... Ah, shit. No, I'm alright, I've got it. Oh. Oh, pissing hell. Right, okay. It's fine. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, it's that bit, it's that standard on that middle bit. I can't seem to get it right. I don't know what's wrong with me. Right, well, I'll leave it there because, well, you're getting the gist of it. I'm shit at it. Um, I think, not just am I shit, it is a difficult game, I think, because your timing has got to be proper precise. Um, all in all, though, I... I have enjoyed it. There is a cybernoid too, and I've had a quick go on it, but I'll have to have a... I've, I've not looked at it properly, because I've been trying to concentrate on this, but I'll have to have a proper look at it. Um, it's a great looking game. The presentation's great. The music's great. You've got the in-game music. The controls are really smooth. Um, maybe you could do a moving a little bit faster, just, just to give you a chance of finishing. But then I'm saying that. Like I said, 20th century gaming has played this. And he's got on a lot further in the game. So, you know, I'll take responsibility. Maybe I'm just not that good at gaming. Um, I would say it's worth a go. It is a good game. It's oh, fucking frustrating. It is. And... It, it, well, let's just say, it, it makes me swear to high hell this game does um, and despite what it might have sounded like in the video I did actually enjoy it and it is quite addictive so I'd say give it a go um, let me know what you think if you have played it um, I'll leave it there so thanks very much for watching and thanks Mark for the recommendation I'll see you again soon thank you for watching take care